That's a thin snick that Judd's looking at here. Effort, a bit unlucky where the cue ball is finished anywhere on the table and he's on a color but where he's finished i mean that was quite amazing to hit it that thin and finish up where he has push a red over the other corner the boot hasn't helped yeah, it feels as if that red doesn't cut back in but he was very Good unfortunate track. to finish up where he did I mean, this was a great pot to cut that in at that pace and to hit the red and to hit the blue and to finish where he did was very unlucky. It's one thing you do know about this game, you stick around long enough, you get more bad beats than a busted drum kit. More bad beats than a busted drum kit. You do find some beauties, Alan. I like that one. <laughs> That's not going to reach, is it? No. Far on a miss. To trample. I say he doesn't reach this time. The referee warns him three misses and you lose the frame. <laughs> Got it safe, the double kiss. It. Surely, does this cut? Wow. No, it went, oh. Okay. If he hits the knuckle, he could angle him. Do you know, I think he snookered him. I think he has snookered him. <laughs> if that's Quiet tight. down, please. Thank you. It could be angled, which you don't see very often. You'd have to swerve this to pot the red. Now, is it touching that jaw of the pocket or is it just away a little bit? He might just be okay, but yeah. But he's still having to swerve it a little bit, I think. Yeah, had to swerve it. Yeah. Well, there is a shot on here. He could pot the pink and he could cannon the red that's safe on the right side of the table. I'll tell you what, it's worth a risk at this stage. <laughs> I think he played it, but not with a great deal of conviction. And just a little Seven. more pace and he would have brought that into play. Tell you what, Alan, it's great to see the centuries flying in, but you can't beat a bit of tension like this. Yeah, you can't beat it. One player desperately trying to get over the line, the other trying to stay in the match. 17 points the difference then, so... The only one thing, that's the, the thing about Nigel lifting this red, is Judd needs that red also. For me, I think... The prudent shot would just back heel the other one back up table, take your chances from there. It's not easy to play an aggressive safety shot off this one. You see, playing it, he's bound to leave the red in the middle of the table because he's playing it thin, or leaving it in the open anyway. Don't want to leave Judd too many of those. He just hasn't thought about the other one. Just push it back up table. Is he having a go at it? Oh, that is wonderful. What a shot. <laughs> well, I think Judd nodded his head in acknowledgement of that fabulous pot there because he knew the safety was going to be tough and he decided, let's have a go. <laughs> and look at this shot if he slips right at the back. Oh. Well, a fraction of giving himself a great opportunity to win the match. 
He's going to need 14. another chance now. So that was just a fraction away from going around the back of that red. Yeah, here it is again. He just potted it in the, the thick part of the pocket. And the cue ball stayed in a narrower line. Now by use of pink and black here. Good chance of getting the snooker. Oh, he's played this nicely. Played it well. Good shot. Nigel Bond, 14. This isn't a sin shit. <clears throat> Far on the miss. Match a bond for. Well, he can get through to the free red. Free ball. Oh, it's a free ball. Oh, that's a bonus. That is a bonus. Look at that. He can't hit both sides of the red. So a free ball called. He can take the black. Black that's ball. Extra red. I think the green is going to be such a key ball in this frame. Anxious moments for the reigning world champion and world number one. Just okay. Seven. Well, the natural path, if he pots this red, is taking the white up towards the green, believe it or not. If he plays it playing ball, the white will head towards the green. So this <laughs> is such an important shot, although he's playing it with a little bit of bottom by the look of it. Eight. Well, he's certainly got a terrific round of applause for that shot from this crowd that watching this match must be stunned, as indeed Judd Trump must be the way Nigel's performing. from this position here. Fifteen. Himself nine points in the lead. Don't know if he can stop the white dead and play the snooker rather than the pot. No, he's played the pot, but... Uh, Seventeen. He's given him a couple of extra points, but there was never any chance of getting onto the green. an upset this would be if this man can pull this victory off. Pretty good cue ball. Nigel Bond, 17. Well, the chance is there, Nigel. It's not an easy one. There's an unbelievable amount of pressure on this next shot, but this is a shot that could cause the big upset if this goes in. Oh. Where's the green going to finish? Is he going to be lucky? The answer is no. I know having said that. Thank you. To get over onto the brown, as we show you the attempt again, but
if anyone can get over onto the ground, it's, it's Judd Trump with the cue power he has. No, he's Three. just going to play the snooker by the looks of things. But it would put him back in the driving seat. It's one of those, one, sorry, there's one of those funny ones. You, you play the snooker, you, as long as you don't get the double, it's the last thing you'd want if the cue ball's tight to the blue. Mm, well, going across, I don't think, is the way here because he's bound to leave it. If not leave the brown and free ball, there's misses. I'd, I'd, go, I'd be going up and down here, I think. Up and down off the bulk cushion. Yeah, he's, he's oh, always going to leave it playing it that way. I don't really understand Chet why Trump. he went that way in the end. Four. Yeah, couldn't agree more. I don't know. Although he hasn't got a good angle on the brown to uh, take it on and get on the blue, he felt. So he's put him back in again. Yeah, the shot that Alan was talking about was off the cushion and go that way you've less chance of he's now looking at that he can change his mind he doesn't have to go the same way again <laughs> well he went for two cushions and he's got it safe but that was risky also <laughs> Max, we could have to this match, or it might continue. That needs to pull up a little bit. I think even the eternal optimist wouldn't even think about taking this on. He can just push the brown side cushion and onto the bulk cushion. There's no double kiss on, so this is quite a well, choosing to go up and down, he's pulled out a gem. <laughs> Not quite got the snipper. Good shot nonetheless. There'll be no heroics here, I don't think, Judd. Just push the brown to the side cushion. Hope to get in behind black. Not bad, you know. Keeps getting a good cue ball. You gotta try and keep the object ball safe also. Doesn't want to knock the black safe. Brown ball fight, whoever pots the brown you'd think would win the frame. Mm, has he got away with it? I think the black's coming to his rescue here. Maybe there's a gap through though. Oh, there is. There is. Settle down, please. Thank you. It's the brown, the blue, and the pink. There's the brown. Oh. He pops the blue, he's 13 in front, the 13 on the table. Judd's dreams hanging by a thread. No. 
first time. Why did he play it? Now you're bound to He's got to just top it through. Well, it's easy sitting here, man. <laughs> I know it's just. And the shot that he's left here, as we show you, just pulling it just a little quick one in. But this needs some queuing to pop this and get round for the pink. Uh, that's a great effort, but it's not going to be far enough. Five. Chance here to clinch this match. Looking at one of the best potters. Well, you were looking, Nigel's a pretty good potter as well, but yet Trump, one of the all time great potters. Boy, could he do with something here. Look at the shot that Nigel's faced five. with white almost tight in the cushion, Thank pink you. near the side cushion. He's got to take the pot on. He'll steady himself. This for one of the big upsets for quite some time. Just off straight. Oh, what a shot he's faced with here. Be so careful that he doesn't follow the white into the pocket as well. It's a, it's a tough one, Alan, isn't it? Yeah. The, the one thing I would say, though, don't play with an awful lot of pace. He's got a good chance of getting away with it if he plays it at a gentle pace. If he misses it. Yeah. Oh, he's gotten away with it. <clears throat> Having a nice run of the ball at the right time. Problem for Judd is he can't leave a shot to nothing. Three points behind. Has to make sure he gets the pink safe, and that ain't it. All right, it's going to be tough, but will Nigel be tempted? <coughs> Not the sort of shot you want to really be taking on. The reason is you're probably going to leave it. Should you should you miss it? Can't get the cue ball safe, really. Yeah, I don't blame him for not taking it on. That's a good shot, actually. <laughs> right, it is possible, but there's danger attached to it. Every shot Judd plays, there's danger. That was quite prudent, I think, given the circumstances by Nigel. Goes for the pot, needs to get some pace in it if he misses it and get it away from the pocket. Nigel Bond has just bought himself this chance. That was clever, the last shot he played. And now that the black's gone, a bit more awkward, not quite as much pressure on the pink, but extreme pressure, it has to be said, under the circumstances. There's lots of oohs and ahs from the crowd there, <laughs> loving this. The tension is quite something. <laughs> this is not hard enough. Right. Nigel. This is your big moment here he's looking at the angle huge shot for Nigel Bond here oh, he's close again
Needs a good long pot on the pink. Might be able to cut it in the middle. If he cuts it in the middle, it's a natural angle to get on the black. But even if he pots this, the black's going to be a pressure pot. I think he's going for the middle. No, he's overcut it. Nigel Bond, are you going to finish the match with the double? Leave the white tight in the cushion. Take the double on. No, he's, he's, he's kept it tight. And it's a pretty good one. Headed the wrong side. He wanted to hit the pink on the other side, send it up towards the black. Another possible chance. Thank you. Puff of the cheeks. Can he pull it off? Yeah. Nigel Bond knocks in a superb pink. What an upset this is. He played really well making a century break and an 85, but nobody expected this result. The reigning world champion and world number one goes out. Nigel Bond beats him six frames to three.